Hi, Zeus here. Season 67 is a fizzle fest at four engines, and I've designed a tech tree and techniques to succeed and reach 88 on the global leaderboard using my techniques. And I want to show you what I'm doing and how I'm being successful in this four engine combat. First, I'm going to start with combat against Zedmot. Zedmot has a highly compact four engine base, which is very difficult to beat. I threw down a box of crystal critters first to take out some of the shock mines and boom mines. I made a big mistake actually in this attack. I should have had a second boat of heavies. And if I'd had that second boat of heavies coming in right about now, I would have probably full cleared his base. As it was, I came pretty close. The, the tanks, if I had had a flare, I could have just flare right now to the doom cannon. And unfortunately, I lost too many of my tanks along the way and fizzled. This is Zedmot's attack on my base. He starts out with one boat of tanks taking out the machine gun and one boat of heavies in support. If he had used a second boat of tanks instead of the heavies, he probably would have cleared the right side. The heavies are getting picked off one by one by the cannon. And then the cannon starts damaging the tanks. You wouldn't think that a sniper tower would be so powerful against three tanks, but mine are. And then a machine gun actually takes out his third tank. He uses a whole bunch of box of critters in an attempt to take down my engine. And finally, the, the critters take down the machine gun and just two critters survive to the end of that process and are working on taking down that engine. Now he lands the bulk of his forces, including tanks and two boats of heavies in sequence. And as his tanks get closer, since he used up all of his critter boxes on the right engine, he's having trouble clearing the the mines there and because his tanks are so slowed up by the shock mines they got eliminated one by one meanwhile over at the engine he's got those two critters but it's not going to work out and he doesn't even get the one engine All right, I'm gonna show you some of the global leaderboard combat that I did getting up to number 88 on the global leaderboard. One of the keys here is throwing the crystal critters so that they take out the maximum number of shock mines and boom mines. On this attack, I actually threw down the first box of crystal critters too early. That was a good throw, got bunch of mines, shock mines, boom mines there. The doom cannon on this base was on the right side, so it's going to be a lot easier taking out the last few defenses on the left. And I'm not even going to need the troops on the right to come back, and the troops on the left are going to be able to take down the two engines quickly. This base is more conventional. The Doom Cannon is tucked on the left side behind an engine in the, in the far corner. That throw of Crystal Critters missed one of the three shock mines I was going after, but it got another hidden shock mine that was behind that global top 500 trophy. Once the tanks are off to the right side it's time to land the rest of my troops 
and some wonky things go on. This one, two of my tanks decided to go right, unfortunately, which is going to make the job of taking down the Doom Can a little bit harder. Having said that, it's going to make the job of eliminating the cannon there a little bit easier, and more of my tanks are going to survive to the end on the right. Meanwhile, the tanks on the left are taking down the remaining defenses, throw down some crystal critters, and the tanks get the last engine. That's one of the downsides of having the Doom Cannon behind the engine. If the Doom Cannon is in front of the engine, the engine goes down slower. But then again, you don't have the Doom Cannon pounding away at the forces that are there. So here's a five engine base. That throw is pretty good. I got three crystal critters at once. That one also pretty good. Got another three shock mines at once. And that one also got a boom mine. That throw got two shock mines and a boom mine. And there's a doom cannon back there. And that's really a problem. now. You can use crystal critters to distract the doom mine, the doom cannons, and frequently the crystal critters will get in front of your troops if you do that. And things like doom cannons and cannons will go after the crystal critters first and not after your troops. Now, I'm down to two tanks here, one with just a sliver of health, and there's a cannon there in the far corner, but the tanks are just out of range. My opponent in this battle has fizzled, having taken down only one of my engines. So if I can get the engines down to two, I can win for sure. So I've won now, and I'm trying to get more engines, because I was trying to collect a chest here. But the last two engines I'll run out of time just don't have enough firepower with just two tanks to take down these engines so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one now the next attack is a full clear against one of the compact bases and I'll show you how it's done that was a good crystal critter throw I got three boom mines this one got two shock mines and a boom mine, all very effective. Fortunately, missed that one boom mine there, but not a big deal. Just damaged one of my tanks. This throw, very good. Got three shock mines. Now, unfortunately, the uh, doom can is wailing away on my troops, but the uh, the heavies are coming, and they use one box of crystal critters to distract the doom cannon. Note how the Doom Cannon is taking out Crystal Critters and not tanks, and that allowed the two remaining tanks there that were firing on the Doom Cannon to clear it. Now the right side is completely eliminated, so my tanks will now go to the left side. and eliminate the last engine. Now this next base is designed very much like my own base. The next battle I actually lost on time. Uh, my opponent beat me slightly faster than I did. I'm not going to show you the attack because it's not terribly good. That crystal critter throw, I missed one of the three boom mines that I was going after, unfortunately which will cost me a little bit later. That throw was pretty good. I got um, everything I was going after. And then uh, that throw was pretty good. Down to just one shock mine there and one boom mine. Throw a box of crystal critters. That that throw is really great because it hung the crystal critters up on the shock mine and allowed a little bit of time for my heavies to get in there. 
and distract everything. Another box of crystal critters. And the Doom Cannon has taken out the crystal critters until it gets cleared. And now there's no defenses left and the tanks take down the last two engines. This next attack is against a compact right base, similar to Zedmot's, uh, but a little bit different configuration. It's got a tricky beginning here, and I didn't do what I usually do. I tried something different with the Crystal Critters, and it worked out reasonably well. The timing on how you land those troops is important. I land two tanks on the left and one boat of tanks on the right. Otherwise, you get the troops all in the wrong spot. Uh, threw down another box of crystal critters there to try to distract the doom cannon, which unfortunately had eliminated all of the tanks nearest it. But then the heavies came in on a delayed basis to provide a distraction. Almost got the doom cannon down with those troops. And another box of Crystal Critters distracted the Doom Cannon long enough to get it down. Now the last engine on the right is down. And a throw of Crystal Critters to eliminate the boom mine and mines in the path of my troops. And I complete the base. This base is a little bit different. It's got two engines on the right, two engines on the left with the Doom Cannon tucked in the corner there. That throw worked out really well. I got three boom mines and a shock mine. And again, by waiting until my troops were there, it had the Crystal Critters go along the edge. Now that that engine is down, I land the bulk of my troops on the left side. And there's still a couple of shock lines and boom lines. And I'm going to use my remaining crystal critters to distract the doom cannon and the defenses there as much as I possibly can while eliminating the shock mines. This next attack also has two engines on the right but a different configuration and I start out with two boats of tanks one against the machine gun and one against the sniper tower I threw that box of crystal critters too early if I had waited until the troops were there I could have gotten the additional shock line and boom line I was going after but I just I did it too soon. I probably should have also thrown a box of crystal critters on the right side there because my troops got hung up on shock mines and that cannon limited all but one MVP tank that's going after that one engine there. Meanwhile, I'm throwing down crystal critters as I have them and the troops are slowly taking down all the engines. One last box of crystal critters take down the doom cannon. Meanwhile, that MVP tank has now taken down the second to last engine, but unfortunately got eliminated by that cannon. There's two boom mines there I'm a little concerned about. I throw down one box of crystal critters, take them out. And the cannon got one heavily damaged tank, but that's about it. And the rest of my tanks take down the final engine. All right, so this is the final attack that I'm going to show you from my log. This base is, again, similar to Zedmot's, a little bit of a variation. A little unhappy with that initial critter throw, crystal critter throw, but it didn't end up mattering in the end because my tanks bypassed the shock line and the boom line that I missed uh, with my bad throw. Uh, anyway, uh, throwing down a couple more box of crystal critters, clearing shock mines and boom mines, and, and now we get to the heart of it. In this attack, I did not use heavies. That crystal critter throw is clutch because it really distracted the cannons and the Doom Cannon 
long enough for me to get at the Doom Cannon. This attack nearly failed. If the Doom Cannon had, had a few more seconds to take down three more tanks, it would have been all over. But I managed to clear the base and I got the win. All right, next I'm gonna show you the tech tree that I was using. Now I'm gonna highlight just the nodes that I have not opened. There is a, a negative node and then Zookas, Grenadiers, Flare, Medkit. I've got Medics, but at level one, do not have Riflemen. I'm gonna open the uh, multi-choice node plus 30% troop damage next don't have cryoneers don't have bullet bullet is pretty important in this tech tree do not have brick and then in five engines there's heavy choppers and seekers or another path with boom cannons and shock launchers those bases are pretty op unless you have bullet all right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe to our channel, and please leave a comment and a like. That'll help us with the gods of the algorithm to build our channel. And thanks, as always, to Hercules for help with the video editing.